those just seem like little tiny bags for you know four or five dollars a piece. Well, we have a slightly bigger bag for five dollars. Right. Okay. Does it look tasty though? That's the question. Well, it appears to have. Hang on, look at the ingredients list. Second ingredient is sugar. Of course, oh, it lovely. Is. Um, okay. And I don't know for sure, but chocolate milk might be a thing here. And all the canned fruits are much bigger cans than what we're used to seeing in the States. Tomato sauce might be a, a core ingredient here as well. It's another one of those situations where the currency makes it look shocking, but you know, 1834, well, that's a eighty. And in unrelated news, then, uh, Milka Oreo. And some crackers. Milk a mousse flavored chocolate. And then we have the flavors again. The juice, mixed fruit, apple, orange, all kinds of stuff. The canora soup mixes, where there's a lot of chicken, huh? Sopa de pollo. Vegetable. So I thought this was an odd place to see all these different kinds of bottles of water, but these are all different kinds of vinegar. And a few options for your olive oil too. And balsamic vinegar. Pasta, oh my gosh. Look at all that. And then I know some of y'all have been waiting to see wine, right? So, a little bit more expensive than the selection in Portugal. But, what do we got? $16, $14, $12. Ooh, the good stuff, $27. But wait, there's more. A lot more. And I mean a lot more. There's like four aisles of wine. I'm not going to show them all. And then, floor two. Yeah, the magnetic uh, thing of me. So apparently, the second level here at the Koto is all household goods and that kind of thing. And clothing, of course. And also we need to figure out what the deal is with the pricing, what's all these superfluous zeros, because that's got to be 4.799, not $479.
could help. Find out if I pay $195 each for those cloth napkins, we'll know. So another thing that's different uh, from what we'll find in the States is when you get into this area of personal care stuff, in the U.S. you would expect to find your aspirin, your Tylenol, your Band-Aids. That stuff is not going to be here in a hypermarket or a supermarket. You're going to have to go to a pharmacy for that. Get a better sense of the scale of this place coming down the escalator compared to the even the big market we went in the other day. The Carrefour market was what was that? Probably 2,500 square feet. Maybe the size of our house on Cultus, maybe 2,000 square feet. Well, you don't see that sort of thing every day either. Just piles of stuff laying out. the wrappers. Little tiny packets of little tiny hot dogs. Yeah. You're spoiled for choice on uh, ham options here. If you want something besides ham, you need to go to another country apparently. Olives are a thing. I'm not used to seeing olives packaged in plastic bags. That's kind of cool. But then we have all the flavor powders. And surely there's more somewhere, but that's the only chips I've seen so far. There we go. I'm beginning to wonder if this was a civilized country after all. I mean, come on, everybody has potato chips, right? Nothing like uh, interesting, exciting flavors, though. Right. Onion and cream cheese, ketchup. Oh, there's the Serrano ham. Those were good. Those were really good, in fact. I'm gonna not buy those because those were so good. So I saw the Philly cream cheese and thought I'd grab some, but uh, $12.70, $7 for the little one. That's gonna be a hard pass. Okay, it's just the, the selections of salt. That salt and garlic, salt and curry. Salt with herbs, regular salt, light salt salt without sodium. Uh, how you make sodium chloride without sodium is, that's a mystery to me, but I'm not a scientist. And we're going to give this Malbec a try. I'll let you know how it works out for me. So that was the mall we were just in. And then we went to the grocery store. And now we're waiting for a ride, because walking a mile with those two bags is just not appealing right now, she says. Right 